Fine dining is evolving. There's a world beyond white tablecloths and multi-course menus. Today, Chef Angus Ann harnesses the power of the Gen Air Pro Style Gas Range to show us how Thai Royal Court cuisine is changing our perceptions of fine dining. So what are we doing today, Chef? We're uh, going to demonstrate a real nice uh, traditional curry of uh, musaman. You know, musaman curry uh, is a very popular curry in Thailand. These are our dry spices. We always toast them in medium heat to release the flavors. A lot of people do the mistake of toasting them over high flames. You tend to burn the spice on the outside without right. releasing the flavor. So I like to do it on low to medium low uh, flame. What I love about the 20,000 BTU burner is that you get the power, but it's still precise at low heat. So what we want to do here now is uh, we want to reduce the coconut cream. And it's important to have uh, even heating because you don't want to create hot spots and uh, there's a lot of sugar content in coconut. So Look how will... fast it's coming up already. Yeah, so you want to bring it up to simmering temperature really fast and just turn it down to hold it at that temperature. We're still toasting spices on the other side. You know, not, nothing what we do with the heat affects any other burner, which is like, something I really enjoy. So our spices are ready. So we'll start with this. I'm going to let you do all the hard work. So with all, with all different influences now that are kind of affecting fine dining, where do you think it's going? Well, I think fine dining is it's a very general term, but you know, no longer do I think fine dining is, is going to a restaurant, sit down for five, six, seven, eight hours for, for a, a long meal. Fine dining for me, you know, you can incorporate a lot of different aspects, you know, rustic food, uh, home cooking. You know, a lot of, a lot of recipes that I find in fine dining restaurants are, are, are you know, backbones of you know, street food, uh, right. coming from all of that. And I think, I think as long as you can uh, elevate those things, it, it's, it's taking street food out of the street setting and putting in a fine dining restaurant, paying respect to all the ingredients. I think that's what fine dining is going. It's nice to get that even heat throughout because with the griddle, you're getting full contact. So you get a really beautiful crust. For the most part, you know, Royal Thai Cuisine or, or Thai Royal Court, it's a lot of the same recipes, but there's a lot more attention to details. Instead of using your street level curry paste, you're, you're, you're hand sourcing each ingredient, you're, you're hand making the curry paste. Instead of simmering the cream, we're now, we're now reducing the cream first. So the dishes might be similar, but when you talk about royal cuisine at the level where you would serve the food to the king and the queen, it's much more refined, meaning better ingredients, better techniques, you know, there's more attention to detail. We're looking pretty good. I'm uh, excited to try this. Let's do it. So let's, uh, we always start with a little bit of rice. Uh, unlike Western cultures where rice or starch is considered sides. Rice is the, the, the main primary focus. component. Wow. In fact, the word to eat, jingkao means eat rice. 